Okay, Eric. Well, kind of a rough game last week. What, what's new for this week? Have you made any changes or anything? Uh, at this point in time, as I told the kids uh, on, after Friday's game, um, we're, 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 this is a whole new season for us. Um, this is day going to be day three of our practice. Um, at this point in time, we have no captains. We have no, no starters. Um, we're we're going to reevaluate everything, and we're going to find out who really wants to be leaders of this team and who really wants to be out there on Friday nights. Um, and, and uh, you know, I, as um, I told them and, and I tell anybody, you know, my biggest disappointment was not that we lost the game, but we had, I had kids that, uh, that I felt like gave up, and that's not, that's not the way we're going to do things. And, 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 again, that falls back to me. I, obviously, I'm not doing something right to put us in the best spot. So um, I had to do a lot of reevaluating uh, re and reassessing of, of the way I'm coaching, the way I'm doing things, and, and the way my staff is doing things. And that always starts there first, and, and then we go down to the players. So I got to fix me, and I got to fix my staff, uh, and, then, and then we move down to, to, to who's got to be out there. And uh, I think our kids believe with 100% certainty that I would much rather play a kid who wants to be out there on Friday nights than the most talented kid. Um, Will there be any changes, you know, in the offense, defense? Have you changed the offense or anything like that? For no, goals? no, no. At this point in time, where we're not, we're not gonna, you know. I, 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 I don't believe that there's a problem with our scheme. I don't think it's a problem with our spread offense. It's where our talent puts the most talent out on the field for us. Um, what I will tell you is, is that there's some things we're doing wrong. Um, and uh, when we watch film and we evaluate film as, as a staff, uh, we can point to certain things and, and, and um, some of those players know um, that, uh, that we've got to either do things better or we've got to find somebody else that can do it better. Uh, we're just not getting the job done. And part of that is just the, the absolute effort that, that we're giving. Um, and, and again, I, I don't, I don't know really um, quite yet how to fix this thing all the way. Uh, but we're working on it. And I, what I can tell you is, is these guys have responded in a way um, that I've been very proud of so so far this week. I mean, every single one of them, including our captains, uh, uh, from, from you know, from our previous captains who who. Are doing a great job showing why they're they, why they were voted to where they work. Uh, we have West Branch Friday night yeah. at West Branch. They're the defending NBC champions, but they've struggled. So I'm looking you see in them that you know what all we've done is told our kids they're the returning NBC champions, and, and if they don't if they take it any other way than that, then we're setting ourselves up for failure, and that's been our problem this whole year. Um, is I think we think we're something. Uh, Better than what we are. Instead of looking at this as every single game, we've got to go in like we're the underdog, and, and, and like and like we've got to dig and claw and fight to get any any respect and get anything. Um, you know, and, and if we go into this game with without looking at it like this, then once again we're going to be in trouble. Um, so our job is, is to look at this game like we're going to play the returning NBC champions, uh, to play them to the best of our ability, and to show up and give maximum effort and do everything that we can. Uh, and as I told our kids, you know, we had a whole conversation, you know, about the high State Northwestern game. And, you know, and I asked the kids on Monday, I said, you know, which team do you think at the end of that game I wished I coached? And every one of them said, said Northwestern. And I said, but that doesn't make any sense. They lost the game. Why would I choose to coach that team? And, and the answer to that is because if, you, if anybody watched that game, the effort that that team gave at the end of that as a coach, you get to look at your team and say, man, there's nothing more I could have asked out of you. There's nothing else you could have given me. You did everything the right way. We just got beat by a better team today. And, and that's all I've ever asked for is, is for our kids to go out there and play with that kind of intensity and that kind of effort and that kind of a mindset and let the scoreboard handle itself. Um, you know, win or lose, when those things happen as a community, as a fan base, as a coaching staff, as a players, I think you can hold your head high and you can, you can feel that way. The way we've handled things the last few weeks, uh, it, it's it's not been justifiable to our community or, or to anybody else, and, and uh, I apologize big time for, for that. And what I can say is, um, we are working nonstop to, to try to fix this. And I tell you what, our kids, uh, we have great kids, and they're responding and they're doing all the right things. So uh, I hope uh, I hope West Branch is ready to strap it up because I think our kids are going to show up and and uh, and, and we're, they, they understand the things we've done wrong. And, uh, and we're going to show up to play. Okay, well, thanks a lot, okay. Eric, and I'll see yep. you Friday night. Right. Uh, good luck as always, Thanks. and it's been a pleasure.